There's a vagina section of the eye. Okay, this one, this question, right? We'll come back to this question after we go through the theory. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Same for this, all of this. Because we haven't gone through the theory. So I don't think we will be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really understand the eye. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let, let's go through the theory. You can see my screen, right? Eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, using laptop or? Laptop. Is it, is it too small, the words? Okay. Side, side by side. Yeah, I know, I know. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 fine, fine. Fine, eh? okay. So, uh. Yeah, so last lesson we went through all the physical structures. Today, we will go through how the physical uh, structures in the eye works to allow you to see far images, near images, bright images, and dark images. Okay? Yeah. And yeah, after this, maybe you look at your questions again. I think you'll be able to do it. Okay. I'm sure you'll be able to. Okay, so next, let's look at this. Focusing. So when the light rays are reflected by an object towards the eye, the light emitted is reflected by various structures of the eye to form a sharp image into the retina. What does this sentence mean? Okay, let's look at this. Let's say there's light being emitted. Okay, so like when you draw light, right, that comes to the eye, right? Can can you tell me? Uh, can you just like you know the annotate? Yeah. Okay, just annotate the direction. Okay. Uh, jump, uh, hmm? draw arrow. 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 No, I think my arrow is wrong. No, it's okay. Just, just draw a direction like an arrow or something. On, on my red line. Oh, on the red. Oh. Uh, mm, erase, erase. Like that. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, good. I just wanted to stress this point. Yeah, so light enters the eye. Uh. It is never the right direction. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is always, yeah, it's a common mistake. Yeah, so then, yeah, so let's say you come here. Okay, then after that, it will be reflected. Let's see. Uh, Something like that, okay? So it's basically, you know, there will be refraction. You see this part? You know what's refraction? Have you learned it? Bend. Yeah, it's a bending of light, right? Okay. Yeah. So the image will be real, diminished, and inverted. What does it mean by real? Do you know? Have you? Real is like fake one. Hmm? It's like, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, yeah. So when, yeah, yeah, you learn it anyway. Uh, okay, so real just means that the image can be projected onto a screen, okay? Okay. Like whatever you see in the mirror, right? It can never be projected onto a screen, correct? Mirror. So that is what you call virtual. Oh, yeah. Okay. So whatever that's real is an image form that can be projected onto a screen. In this case, the screen is your brain. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like projector, the image is. So for projector, is the image real or virtual? 
virtual. Mm, you, you know what's projector, right? Yeah, the thing that... In your classroom, huh? Yeah. Okay, so the projector, the image go away. Go onto the... Whiteboard. Yeah, so is it being projected onto a screen? Yes. So is it real or is it virtual? It's real. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so we have the distinction that now it's real. Okay. In bio, uh, we don't you don't really need to tell me what it is, lah, but I just want to let you know what's the def uh what the term means. Okay. Yeah. We, I don't really think you need to say it's real, diminish, or this. Okay, but anyway, diminish, diminish, it means that it's smaller, okay? Pretty okay. straightforward. If it's larger, if the image is right, larger than the object, then it's enlarged. Oh, sorry, magnified, okay? Okay. Uh, it's very straightforward. Inverted just means top is bottom, bottom is top. Okay. Huh? okay. Then uh letter. Okay, so yeah, it's just these three. Real diminished inverted. Okay, so in fit sometimes uh there might be another description called laterally inverted. Make a guess what, what does it mean? I thought it's the same as inverted. No, 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 no different. Mm. Or like if it, the F become the other side. Left is right, right is left, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you see on the mirror, right? On the mirror, your left is your right. Your right is your left. Okay? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so these are what you see. Real, diminished, inverted. Okay. So, the image will stimulate photoreceptors to generate impulse response. Okay, maybe I'll just explain to you why, why it is important. So let's say it enters here. So it will be like that. It will bend more, right? So if this is the top, now the top is here. If this is the bottom, now the bottom is here. Okay? That's why it's inverted. You get it? Oh, so it will meet at that point. Yeah, so it will show an image. Oh, but I thought like if like the two light rays, right, then they meet at like the point before the fovea, then it's like short-sightedness. Yeah, yeah, correct. So this is short-sightedness. Then, uh, yeah, so that's why you need a, a lens to change it. But I want to shoot just to show you the... Okay, but okay, even if like that, right? Uh, yeah. So basically what, what happens here, the bottom will be at the top. The top will be at the bottom, okay? Oh. Yeah, so it's inverted. Oh, so inverted. upside down. Yeah, just want to show you that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good point. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, so the image will stimulate photoreceptors to generate nerve impulse. The photoreceptors are just like uh, receptors, like sensors. Uh, okay. Then you generate the nerve impulse. Where does the nervous impulse go to? Okay, oh, never mind. Mean. It's a next line. Okay, so the impulses will be transmitted along the sensory neurons and travel to the brain via the optic nerve. Yeah. Okay, so and think of it as like let's say you want to send something, okay? you order something from Lazada, then 
Okay. Basically, the nervous impulse is your whatever you order. Then the sensory neuron is the lala move or whatever thing. Okay. It's a, yeah, basically, it just transmits to your brain. Then your brain is your, is your house. Yeah. So the brain will then interpret these images and allow us to see an upright image of the correct size. Okay. So focusing is the adjustment of thickness of the lens by the ciliary muscles. So the focal length is changed. Okay. 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 What do you understand what's focal length? Right, the length between the lens and the fovea. No. Okay. okay. This is optics, huh? I'll just share my board. You'll learn this in your physics, huh? Okay, but I just I'll just tell you, okay? Since we are already here. Okay. You. How come I cannot how come I cannot share my whiteboard? Oh no. Okay, okay yeah. So you have a lens, okay? So you have an object here. Okay. So the focal length is basically when you draw one parallel line and one line that cuts the center of the lens. So if you draw a parallel line, so this line, you basically you will Oh my god, where's my annotate? Oh. Let me see. See, it's like that, right? So for any object, right, through a lens, right, you just need two, two ray of light to determine the focal length. So first, you need one light that cut, directly cuts the center, which is this point over here, okay? One light that cuts through. The other one must be parallel, and then you So where it cuts this intersection over here, okay, you dot it up. This is what you call the focal length, okay? Oh. Mm. You're learning about physics anyway. Yeah, so, and yeah, so changing the thickness of the, of the lens. So if I, let's say I change to a thicker lens, okay. Okay, what happens is the focal length, the ray will bend differently. So maybe now the focal length will be, yeah, understand? So changing the, uh, the thickness of the lens will, will lead to different angle of refraction. So that's why there will be different focal length. And that, that's how actually your, your specs kill your short sightedness. Oh, well, then uh, what is that? Uh, like the long horizontal line? Oh, that is just like, uh, I'm just telling you, like it's the 
。じ。しかもじゃあ、フォーカプレイン。Yeah, but basically just a line that tells you is like in the middle of the lens.、Yeah. Oh, so the focal line is not the horizontal line, it's the vertical line. The focal line is from here, the center of the lens, to here, okay? Oh, okay. That's the focal line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just change the thickness, you affect, change the. Yeah, okay, that's about it. I wouldn't want to deep dive into it. Okay. So by changing the focal length, you can have. Clear sharp images that can be formed on the retina. Okay. Okay. Good. Any questions you have for this portion of it? Anything you don't understand? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. So now that we know all the terms, let's understand how the eye, how the eye, reacts. Ah. Okay. So rays from a distant object comes here. You bend and focus on the retina. So when the eye sees a far object, the light rays reflecting off a far object are almost parallel, because it's so far away. Like the light, yeah, it's just almost parallel. So what will happen is the ciliary muscles. So this region over here, the thing. Yeah. So this is ciliary muscle. Yeah. They relax, and then the suspensory ligaments will be put taut. Taut just means will be put tight. Okay. Okay. So what happens when you, okay? So the ciliary muscles relax, the ligaments will pull top. Okay, it's like a. I don't know whether I have like rubber band when you pull it, you become tight, right? So when you pull the lens, what happens? Do you think the lens will become thinner or thicker? Thinner. Hmm. Very good. Thinner, so it become less convex. Okay. What does it mean by convex? Do you know? Then, then become less bent. Okay, so is this a convex lens, or is this a convex lens? Which one, left or right? A or B? Just take a guess. A. Okay, good. So, A is a convex lens. B is a con concave lens. Okay, you heard of that term before? Yeah, it's like a spoon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is back of the spoon is convex. No. Yeah. So when when do you use convex lens? Like, can can you think of any example? Convex. Uh. Wait, convex is like the one that you can see, further, right? Right. Convex is right. Concave is right. Okay, convex lens example. You know when like a car is turning, right? You will see they put a mirror here, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen before? <laughs> Never really. No. Okay. Yeah, you can maybe you can notice like sometimes, like if there's a turnover here. Okay, you always see a mirror here. Why? Because when the let's say I have a car here. Light can pass from here and then you can come here. Okay, so basically you can see if there is a car here. So that is a one use case of a convex lens. Okay. Oh, it's the one in the car park. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a wine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it allows you to see a wine angle. Okay. Then, concave lens. Ah, uh, the dentist one. Okay, dentist one. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, okay. Now we know it's concave plus convex. So yeah, when you pull it, it becomes thinner, it becomes less convex. So less convex, the focal length will be increased, okay? So you remember just now I showed you the, the example over there? So the, what happens is like that, then like that, like that, right? So if you become thinner, what happens is you become like that, okay? So the focal length actually increase. Yeah. Okay, the, so the angle of refraction will be lower. The focal length will be increased. Wait, but I thought like the, the light ray that is shown is like parallel. Ah. Oh. Okay. So actually, I'm just showing you two light rays, but actually in real fact, right, uh, there can be, there's like a lot of light rays. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so parallel can. So parallel, <laughs> I'll just show you. Huh? Yeah. So... Yeah, so initially, let's say the red one is here. Then now the black one will be... Uh, here, la, okay? Yeah, the black one will still be the same, okay? So maybe okay. this is not a... Yeah, because there's, there's more rays, la, actually. But yeah, just know that it's the focal length will be increased. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really deep dive into it because yeah. I leave it to you when you learn physics. Let's give you a gist of it. Yeah. But I think it's quite a clear understanding, right? A any other questions? I don't think so. Okay, can. Yeah. So keyword here, ciliary muscles relax. Suspensory muscles, oh sorry, ligaments will be taut. As a result, the lens are stretched, will be thinner and less convex. So focal length is increased. This allows you to see a further object. Okay. Yeah, understand the flow. Uh, not just uh, keywords is very important, but uh, also understanding also important. Yeah. Okay, next. The light rays reflecting off a near object are divergent. Okay, divergent basically means like, uh, come on. Okay, convergent means. Like you converge, la, okay? You converge to one point. Divergent means you spread out. Okay. Okay, so the ciliary muscles will contract. And the suspensory ligaments will slacken. Okay, when the ligaments slacken, what happens? That means you relax the rubber band. So the rubber band. Okay, so the lens, okay? So what happened to the lens? It become thick, thicker, oh. right? And more convex, okay? More curved, more convex. So the focal length is decreased so you can see nearer objects. Oh, okay. Can I? Good. Okay, now. So for the eye, it contains our radio and circular muscles, which I'll go through later. Okay, so basically once the image is here, what happens? You the sensory neuron, you pass through the sensory neuron, go to the brain, 
and pass through the relay neuron. And then it goes to the motor neuron. Okay. Okay. Okay, any questions? No. Okay. okay. Before we go to the next part, uh, okay. What's motor neuron? Okay. So let's say I see a new object, right? How does my brain know that the object is near? I sense it, okay. My, I'm not able to capture the image, okay. So it sends to my brain, the relay neuron, and then it tells me, okay. So if the object is near, I need to relax. I, the ligaments need to slacken. So it goes to a motor neuron to tell the ligaments to slacken. That is the function of the motor neuron, okay? Oh, so the relay neuron tells the, the brain. motor neuron. Okay, the, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, then, then the message the... through the motor neuron. Then the motor neuron tells the ligaments to slacken. Okay, all this happens within split second, of course. If not, you take like, yeah. Okay, all this happens within split seconds in your brain. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The, the relay neuron uh, tells the brain what? I see. No, the brain tells the relay neuron. The sensor ne sensory neuron tells the brain what you see. Mm. Okay. Then after it goes to the brain, the brain will, will, will make a decision and then go through the relay neuron and then to the motor neuron to execute. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the, yeah, yes. the pupil reflex arc involves the transmission of nervous impulse. This is the arc. La. So this is what we call the pupil reflex arc, this whole thing. Okay, so transmission of nervous impulse from the photoreceptors to the sensory neurons. Okay, just a fun fact. Why is it called photoreceptors? Because capture the photo. Yeah. Also, okay. Next time in JC, you'll learn that uh, light, right? It's actually called photons. Mm -hmm. Maybe not JC, la, but next step. Maybe higher, but... Yeah, so light, uh, the unit is actually like photons. So, yeah. That's right, lah. Very good. But where's the pupil reflex up? This whole thing is called the this whole action from what I tell you just now. Sensory to brain, then to relay, then to the motor neuron. It's called the sensory reflex up. Yeah. This whole okay, process. So, so is it a thing or is it like the action? This whole rock it takes is called the pupil reflex up. Okay. From when you get the image, you send through the sensory neuron, the brain decide, go to the relay neuron, then take action. Then the motor neuron tells the ligament to, yeah, whether slacken or talk. That is, yeah. Okay. Next, the sensory neuron will transmit impulse to the, yeah, all this, uh, basically what I just explained, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the effectors are the iris muscles, which will contract or relax in response to the amount of light in the environment. Okay, let's understand it further in the next page. Let's <sighs> see, it's a Okay, before we come to here, I'll just, I'll just give you a scenario, okay? If you can understand the scenario, then you definitely understand this, okay? And the scenario is quite crazy. Yeah. So if you're in a bright environment, okay? Do you want to take in more light or less light? 
Nice flight. Very good. <laughs> okay, done. Okay. Later I go blind. <laughs> yeah, correct. You are in a, if you are in a dark environment, you want to you want to increase your size, right? So you can take it more light, so you can see better in the dark. Oh, yeah. I think maybe I went through last week. I told you last week. Yeah, correct. Very good. So you are, if you think too much light, you will go blind. Okay? Because basically our eye, right? Inside we have rocks and cones. So one thing uh, we have like millions of it. So if there's too much light, you will actually like just burn the rocks and cones inside your eye. Okay? And then yeah, ultimately you will, if you don't have, then you become blind. Okay, yeah. The so, rock and cone, the photoreceptor. Yeah. Oh, and then it's the one that will like, 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 like stimulate the picture. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. That's why they always say, uh, like, don't use your phone in a dark room. Makes sense, right? Your phone is so bright. <laughs> dark, when you're in a room with no light. You're on you're... dark mode. Uh, yeah, then, yes. yeah, you're on like the small light. I guess it helps. But it's, yeah. But yeah, you will uh, still, yeah, not too, yeah, you still lead to some damage like, to a certain extent. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so you understand that, you, should, you will definitely understand this. Okay, so in bright mode, so like what you said, right? The pupil will become smaller because the light is so intense, I don't want to receive so much light. So basically, I will want to decrease the pupil size. And how do I decrease the pupil size? Muscles. Yes. It's made out of muscles. Circular muscles and radial muscles. Okay? So if this is your eye, okay? Circular muscles are muscles that are circular. <laughs> okay? Then radial muscles, let's say this is your people, okay? Yeah. That row will be the one. Okay, radial muscles are muscles that are in the radius, radius direct, radial direction. <laughs> oh, is it like the human eye? Then like they show the eye, then the radial muscle is the one that like, like, like sharp, sharp one. Sharp, sharp one. Uh, sharp, sharp one. Is that the one and go up, down, up, down, up, down? Um, not very. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> radial muscles is really muscles in the radial direction. Okay, radial, R A D I A L. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So what happens when the when the radial muscle relax? When the radial muscle relax, what happens is you become longer, right? Become longer, okay? Example. Let's draw a bit. Lah. So what happens when you become longer, you relax, then the people become smaller. Understand? Wait, it relax, then the people become smaller. Yeah, so it's basically, it's like string, right? Wait. Uh, so if so the red one is when the radial muscles are contracted. Okay. So the like showing it from contracted meaning like it pushes it in. No, 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 no. When it's contracted, it's shorter, right? Yeah. So the, so that's why you see the red lines are. Okay. Okay. So when it's relaxed, it's longer, right? Yeah. So that's the blue lines. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I said, I want you to visualize it. So, yeah. So now you, you. Okay. So radio masters, when they relax, basically. Okay. So do you see the red color ball, red color pupil become the blue color pupil? That is what's happening in your eye. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So this is. So, because, okay, so, so far I've discussed about radio masters, right? I yeah. haven't really discussed about, uh, I haven't, about circular muscles, right? Yeah. Okay. So, think of it this way. Wait a wait a let me think on. Okay, so let's say I have, you, you look at this, okay, let's say I have this red circle over here. I have, uh, I raise some of the circle. Okay, so I have this red circle over here. It's a circular muscle. Okay? okay. When the radial muscles relax, what will happen is you will pull, you will stretch, right? So it will yeah. stretch. What happens is the circular muscle now will be stretched. It will be stretched further. So now the circular muscles. I should I use a blue line. So circular muscles now they will like they will stretch. So when they stretch further, do you say it contract or what? Or do you say it relax? I mean the radial muscle. Yeah, no, the, the circular muscle from the red circle to the Blue circle, you know what I'm referring to, right? Yeah. Okay. So it becomes bigger, right? Uh yeah. Because when you, when the radial muscles relax, you actually like stretch out. So yeah. So now the the circular muscles from the red circle they become the blue circle. Oh, yeah, yeah, become bigger. Become bigger, right? Yeah. So will you say it contract or will you say it relax? You mean the circular muscle? Yeah. It's like you're stretching a rubber band, okay? So it will contract because it's more. But it can't be good. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's the other way around. I think I might have drawn all way. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's say it's Ayo. Okay. Oh, so is it like the radial muscles, right? Like when it contract, like it's 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 like it's like going out. Yes, here we are. Let me, so when you contract, you contract. Yeah, okay, when you contract, you will, you will go up. Okay? Because it's like that, and then it's going like that. Yeah, so like that is like contracting. Like that is relax. Oh, 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 it's like it's like it's like for example, like a wire, right? Yeah. You know, like, like this long, then it contract. So yes. it contract, then it's shorter, then the thing bigger. Yes, correct. That that's mm. yeah, correct, 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 correct. Okay. Yep. So when it becomes bigger, it's contracting. Okay. It's like yeah. So what's important here is you must know the radial muscles, okay? Okay. The radial muscles will relax, okay? Once you know the radial muscles relax, you know the circular muscles will be the opposite, okay? Okay. 
you know, because I think of the like the circular muscle as like the stronger muscle. No, no, no. Just relate to the radial muscles. The radial muscles directly uh, correlates to the diameter of the people. Okay, so if it relaxes, then thing become bigger. Right? But I thought you want the people to be constricted. Huh? You are, you are talking about radial muscles now, right? Yeah. Okay. So the red lines represent that the radial muscles are contracted. Yeah. Okay. The blue lines is when the radial muscles relax. Yeah. Okay. So when the radial muscles relax, what happens? It goes from the red to the blue, right? Yeah. So did the size become smaller or bigger? The red smaller. ball to the small to the blue ball. Okay. Oh, smaller. Smaller, right? So is it constriction? Yeah. Okay, very good. Then the circular muscle is from the red to the blue. Yeah. So when it contract, it doesn't become smaller. It's like a rubber band, right? <laughs> we have to visualize uh. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, 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 yeah, it's like a rubber band. You stretch a rubber band, it's contracting a rubber band. Okay? <laughs> I'm contracting. Wait, what? Okay, basically a stretch of rubber band. Okay, wait, when is a rubber band relaxed? When it's a normal stage, right? Yes. Do I have rubber band? I go out on my hair. <laughs> You don't need, don't need, don't need. But I won't take it out. Like, it's relaxed. Huh? But to, because like when you stretch it, then it like become bigger. Eh? Yeah, okay. That is what we call contract. Okay? That's it. That's so weird, okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay? <laughs> yeah, <sighs> so that's why I explain the radial muscles first. Because the radial muscles is... Yeah, once you know the radial muscles, it's self-explanatory already. Okay? Okay. Yeah, so let, let's go through uh just so in bright light, what happens? The radial muscles will relax. So because the radial muscles relax, it becomes longer, right? So yeah. the pupil will constrict. Yeah. Yeah, then the pupil diameter decrease. So, so what if the pupil diameter decrease? You will allow less light to pass through. Mm. Okay, so this prevents the retina to be damaged. Yeah. So the, re the retina cannot be damaged because you need the light to focus. And then if it's damaged, then cannot focus the light anymore. No, no, no. No, if you allow too much light to pass through, you you actually burn the yeah you you don't need to actually yeah. So what happened is you will actually burn the photoreceptors. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, I think you don't need to actually just say that it prevents the retina from being damaged. Yeah. Okay. 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 So the reason why I spend so much time like to explain is I want you to understand instead of like just memorize because like you understand you will you know it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you understand you won't forget. If you if you memorize you will forget. Yeah. So do you understand? Yes. Okay, good. Then let's move on. Dim like So basically, it's the opposite. Now you can imagine from the blue to the red. Okay. Now can you try and explain to me? It's just uh, basically it's just everything here, lah. But just I just want you to try and explain. It. <laughs> the. Mm -hmm. And the radial muscles. The radial muscles. Uh. 
So now, does it move from the red, uh, blue to red or red to blue? Blue to red. Very good. So you can shorter, right? So we yeah. do muscles contract. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so when the radial muscles contract, that means the circular muscles must relax, right? Okay? Yeah. So when the radial muscles contract, what happens? The pupils will dilate. Yeah, it just becomes bigger. Lah. So pupil diameter increase, so allow more light to enter. So is it the only the radial muscle causes the pupil size to change? No, it's the radial and the circular muscles together. They work hand in hand, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So more light will have brighter image, huh? Best light. Okay. Maybe you can draw this in your in your somewhere down. Right, draw this thing. Draw the red one and the blue one. Like red lines and blue lines. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think you should draw it. Wait, wait, uh, but can you can you explain the circular one again? Mm. Okay. Okay, circular one is okay, it's a rubber band. When you stretch it, do you see that the rubber band is stretched or relaxed? Stretch. Yeah. So basically how they term it as stretch is co contract. Okay. So so here I'm looking at the 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 red one. Uh, you mean in dim light or? No. Uh, oh, no, in, in uh, bright light. Okay, yeah. So you, you go from red to blue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So basically when they say it contracts, it means it's being stretched. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see it already. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, we just draw it. So instead of a bigger hole, it becomes smaller. Right? In, like, like, instead of the blue one, it becomes the red one. You mean for bright light? Uh? Yeah. Like, like, like the circular muscle. Okay. Let's look at... <laughs> Wait, I'm wrong. Okay. okay. Right. So initially, right? Let's say this is the radial muscle, right? Then the circular muscle is being attached here. Okay. Okay. So when it is being extended, right? When it's being extended from here to here, what do you think will happen to the circular muscles? It will move, right? It will move from this position to this position. Agree with me? When the radial muscle... When the radial muscle relax, that means it goes from the red line to the blue line. That means it becomes longer. Lah. Yeah. Then the circular muscles must shift position, right? Yeah. So you will, so initially is is this circle? So uh, do you agree that you move from the from this red line, the the curved red line to the blue red line? Uh. Because you stretch, ma. So the the circular muscle also move. It is like 
stuck to that place, right? So if you stretch it, you you just move also. Yeah, yeah, it will move. Okay, so so the red line is actually this circle. The blue line is actually this circle. Okay, now you you understand it. Yeah, but technically, if we came, you can be here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's like rough. It's like okay. Yeah, just just take it as. That's why I ask you to just look at the radial muscle because at the circular muscles. Yeah, okay, just look at the radial muscle. The circular muscle is just opposite. Okay. Okay. You can after that you can take your time to go and try and visualize it. But yeah. So in bio stretch means. No, not really. Just for this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Back in the middle. Hmm. Okay. You guys can move. So the hormones are basically chemical. Okay, next will be uh hormones. Okay, hormones are. Oh, I'm not tested for hormones. They're not tested for hormones. Yeah. Well, then, then, yeah, that's about it for I. Yeah. Eh? Any other questions for that thing? Anything not sure? I think we go pretty in that way. Anything not sure? Oh, no. Okay. Now, I want you to really look at your questions that you sent me, okay? Uh, oh, yeah. But then my TYS answer, right? Like, the question, right? The first one, right? It's not that I don't know. Just that, like, I, I, I don't know why it's the rector's muscle. Yeah, because that one I haven't learned yet. Oh. Yeah. I don't understand how it controls the movement of the eyeball.
Okay, but you know two definitely contract, right? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm not sure what's the difference between one and four. I'll share screen. Sure, I see. Yeah. So what you have is my eyeball, and you have uh this lens over here, right? And you have uh, another lens over here. Basically, there's two two things that pass through. Okay, so this is one lens. Okay, the blue one. This is one lens, and then this is another lens. Okay, whatever that's pulling these two. Is whatever they have a contract, right? So what's pulling this? And what's pulling this? Yeah, it's two and four. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So it just pull. Yeah. Contract means because the muscles contract you pull one. Okay. Got it? Let's move on. Uh, this one. So, now you... Okay, so it goes from dim light to bright light. Bright light, you want the... You want the pupil to be smaller, right? So the radial muscles must relax, okay? Yeah. So you got, actually you got relax and contract, correct? Okay, very good. So what happens to the ciliary muscles? One meter away. Uh, do, do, you want the, do you want the lens to be... To be thinner? No. Uh, thicker. No, you want it to be thicker. Also in bright light. Bright light, I look at the circular and radio. Then I look at the dis distance. I look at the ciliary. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. What are receptors and effectors? Wait, do you know why serial muscles are contract now? Because it's neural. Hmm. So for neural, right? Okay, the ciliary muscles book hand in hand with the ligament, the suspensory ligaments. Okay. Yeah. So if the if it becomes thicker, it means the ligament relax. Okay. Then the ciliary is just the opposite. You contract. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, I just uh remember my question mm. from last week. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like, why must the focal length decrease when like the objects are near? Can I explain to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I finally. <laughs> So, I have this thing in here. What happens is, when the focal length decrease, Can see a mirror of that. When the focal length is increased, what happens is oh yeah, okay, I just it should be convex now. Huh? Okay, let me. You will see a further object. Can can understand? If the focal length decrease, so you are in focus at a. So if the focal length is decrease, right? You are in focus at a nearer point. Can you, can you see? It's shorter, right? The blue one. Uh, yeah. So you can see a narrow object. Mm. If the focal length is increased, that means you'll be in focus at a further position. If not, because any position from like here to here is all blurry, 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 blurry. So you need to be in focus when in when like at this position, right? Oh, oh like the light ray. Like if it's yeah. long, it must also be long. Huh? Be like, is it? Wait. What? Say again? It's that the light ray, right? Shine, 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 shine. Then it cannot like suddenly be short. It needs to like continue. In like, okay, very yeah. focus. Okay, no. So yeah. what you need to understand is, if the focus. So basically, to be in focus, like for a new object, the focal length has to be short. Can you see? Like let's say the object is like. The the blue one. Okay. Can you see the yeah. focal length is very short? Yeah. Okay, and at such a short focal length. The object is focused really. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for the long one, it, yeah lah. It's very far away, so the focal length is very, very. Yeah, very long. <laughs> for it to be in focus. You need the focal length to be long for it for you to see a far object. Because if you if what happens if you the far object is at a red X, right? That means if the far, far object is here and then the focal length is so short, you cannot see the far object, right? Yeah. Huh? Also is it like a mirror? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. mirror is different. Yeah, okay, mirror is mirror is nothing, it's just reflect light. This is lens. Yeah. So like the distance uh, yeah. must be like about the same or not. Um okay, we, for now it's not really correct to say if 
Focal length square is in focus, but so yeah. So let's say I have a blue cross, okay, blue cross here, and a red red cross. Basically, I need a short focal length for new object and long focal length for a far object for it to be in focus. Oh, okay. Then? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we need to yeah. stop share in case. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, next. When the eye adapts to view and to view a distance, right? distance is far. So, what the receptor? Okay, now you know lah. What's the receptor? What goes into the sensory neuron? What tells the sensory neuron what to do? What senses the retina cells, right? The photoreceptors. Huh? Okay, okay. Let's look at the, the, the tutorial. Let's go back to this. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. So, what, what is the receptor? In this pupil art reflex. Oh, the photoreceptor. Mm -hmm. In the retina. Mm. Okay. So, like the rods and cones are also caught at the retina cells. No, rods and cones is. Uh... Okay, rows and codes is different. Uh, yeah, it's different. So basically, we just you know that at the retina, there are photoreceptors. That means it's where it receives the image or receives the light. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Then the retina cells are just like cells in the retina. Retina cells are photoreceptors. <laughs> huh? The retina cells are basically photoreceptors. Wait, isn't photoreceptor also roots and cons? Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Then the right. effector is the one that takes place. Yeah. So what, what happens? The radio and circular muscles. Okay. Clear? Okay. This yeah, ciliary muscles are huh? okay. So the next one, number six, is basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Now. Okay, any other questions? No. Okay, good. So understanding of I is perfect now. Going to okay. be <laughs> You got it, one percent. I did the structured question. Oh, this is another question of the worksheet. Yeah.
Where is it? Division exercise. Eight. Eight. Who have a mm -hmm. That's right. So this is the last chapter, right? Yeah. Is it the last chapter? Oh, just one, two question now. Yeah, but I'm not sure how to answer the question. It's like, it's like, like, like when they ask, right? Like, how is a focused image produced? Do I need to say like, after like I say all the like the. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. After I say like all the ciliary muscle everything. Do I need to say about the photoreceptors thing, then the nerve impulse into the brain, or no need? Yeah. No need? Yeah, yeah, talking about which one? Question? Uh, question 2B. 2B. Okay, you send, you send me your answer first. Uh, yeah, send me your answer for to me first. Yeah. Or everything. Uh. Yes, everything. Also ready. Also ready first. Increasing light intensity, there will be a perception. Mm. Actually, you were asking me what were you, what were you asking? Like, like if they ask, like. Uh -huh. How does the people of the eye respond or like how is a focused image produced, right? Like, like, do I need to say about like the photoreceptors stimulated, then the nerve impulse to the brain? Okay, need. Because this is a six mark question. Oh, then if it's like two marks, then we need. Yeah, two marks don't waste time. Okay. Yep. Yeah, then for 2B, right? Then they ask, how is a focused image produced? Do I talk about like a distant object or near object? Up to you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. also can. Uh? Yeah, up to you. <laughs> Whatever you want to choose. Oh, so just write one. Yeah, just write one can you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one of it.
near a near object. <laughs> For a near object, is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's fine. Do you see the lens become like you never tell me anything about the lens? Oh, I have a hat. Okay, okay. Yeah. Which one? I think 2B is fine. Yeah, yeah. So uh 3A. Have we we haven't gone through one, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what's the difference between A and H. The question asks. Oh, I got A and H. Oh, okay. let's look at one first. Oh, oh, okay. They ask you to state the function. It's for Ma. I never state. I never. Yeah, I never. So, okay, always remember to look at the. So like, like what I told you last time, right? Bio, you need to look at the like the question type. Yeah. yeah. Look at the question type name and state a function. One more thing to look at is the mark scheme. Okay. Yeah. So if it's four mark, you know it cannot be just I write four words, they give me four mark, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yep, so this is primary ligament. The suspensory ligament basically connects the lens to the ciliary muscles. Connects the lens to the ciliary muscles. Okay. Then, so when the ciliary muscles contract or relax, the suspensory ligament slackens or tightens, respectively. To change the convexity of the legs. To change the convexity of the lens. Yeah. Okay. Okay, probably. Then, wait, wait. then optic nerve, just say uh, when light enters the eye and stimulates the retina, the electrical impulses produced are conducted by the optic nerve. to the brain to be interpreted as visual images. Also is the is the photoreceptors that like stimulate the impulse. Yeah, basically, uh, yeah. So optic nerve is basically like a wire, yeah. okay. wire in a circuit. Okay, it's like a wire in an electric circuit. Okay. Mm. Yeah, one B, I think, should be okay. Huh? Okay, I think one will be familiar. Okay, so A to H. Huh? We got nothing to show you what's about. Oh, okay, have. Okay, yeah. So A is suspensory ligament. 
Sí, es la Silvia Vilma Sous. ¿Ah? ¿Ah? Sí. I thought the, uh, the celery muscle is the white thing. The thing that is above the suspensory ligament. H is the suspensory ligament. Okay. But I thought celery muscle is above it. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Hmm. So what's directly connected to it must be the suspensory ligaments. The ciliar body is on top of it. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, ciliar body is connected. Come my screen keep jumping. Okay. Oh my god, my screen keep jumping. Something's wrong. Yeah. Okay, so H must be the suspensory ligament. Okay. A, I think they should point somewhere higher. Okay. okay. Then uh yeah, B is. Lens. Okay, see. Optic nerve. Okay, D. Oh, you sent me out. The retina. I thought don't need to. Okay. Oh. A to H. Not, not A and H. Oh, 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 oh okay. Okay, okay. And, okay, then. D is the retina. Uh, e. Oops. D is the retina, and then E is the. That the iris, yeah, iris muscle. F is the aqueous humor. Iris muscle, yeah, you did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, correct. F is the pupil, okay. It's the pupil. What was it? I thought it's the aqueous humor. Ah, uh, they never really point for PhD. Yeah. I mean, they are pointing right in the middle, equals you more, okay? Then? G. G is? The cornea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so the cornea, is it our white part? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Example where people track this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, but you never tell me about the mm. okay, I can I can ask it. Okay. I don't have to talk about dim light, right? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, just one example. Okay. You would like to be able to convert if the lens is removed. Can what? Huh? If I thought can. Can, can, can. Sorry, sorry. Lens is removed. Can now, can. But why can? Is it because uh -huh. it's got that vitreous humor inside? Okay, so basically, just now, uh, when I draw, I show you two lens, right? 
uh, basically two things that can reflect, reflect light. Okay, the cornea and the aqueous humor will still be able to refract light. Okay, it's just that it will refract light to a lesser extent. So, actually, can we just need yeah can can. Then how about the the vitreous humor? Yeah, so the cornea with the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor will still be able to reflect light and converge the light. But just like lesser. Yes, to a certain, uh, lesser extent. Okay. Just that this guy need to wear very thick lusters now. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's alright. Okay, so yeah, we just finished MCQ. We'll go through that next lesson. Okay. The next lesson you don't have piano, right? When's your oh. your piano is when's that? Uh, 18. Uh? I do not know. Only ask my teacher. Okay, let me, not next session. Nah. No, 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 no. no. If, if, yeah, they just let me know. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.